Right, here we go folks, Ravid's back again. Now, this time I thought I'd just do random recommendations um, in terms of Blu-ray and DVD releases, so who knows, maybe you guys already own all this lot, but it's just like a select few that I dug out today for something to do. Um, to entertain folk, to pass the time for myself. <laughs> so, we'll start off with Ruggiero's Raiders of Atlantis. No doubt most of you lot have viewed this film, and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, Ruggiero directed this, as you guys probably know. Unfortunately, he uh, passed away recently, which was a bit of a travesty for all of us. Um, the man that gave us Cannibal Holocaust. Now... The picture quality and sound quality on this is really fantastic, and there's some great extras on that too. Um, I cannot recommend that enough. There was rumours for a long time that this was coming out on Blu-ray, and then other folks were saying, no, no, it will never be on Blu-ray. You know, that was coming from Ruggiero himself, which turned out to be bullshit, obviously. Uh, here's the old KTEL Australian VHS, and this one is in amazing quality, if I can actually open it up. Like so, like brand new inside, but yeah, that doesn't get played anymore because I have the Blu-ray, excuse me, while I close the case. Alright, number two folks, Master Blaster, this is amazing. Now, oddly, a lot of my, well, a few of my friends didn't like it. It's a lot like Zero Boys, um, that type of film, guys playing paintball uh, for massive uh, money and someone's bumping off the players one by one and... I don't know, that, that in itself interests me, so to me it's it's a great film. Um, here's the old Australian CBS Fox tape here with superior artwork. Now the German DVD is actually quite good, I didn't really pay that much for it as well. And the picture quality is fantastic, um, I don't really think there's any extras on that, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really really nice and a godsend for me to have that on DVD. It would be... Much nicer to have a Blu-ray, but I'm kind of guessing we will get one at some point. Now, another film that cops an awful lot of shit, uh, Fulci's Voices from Beyond. I don't really know why. I mean, as I've spoke about before, you have um, this and Enigma, Cat in the Brain, Nightmare Concert, as it's known as well. Um, a lot of his, uh, Demonia, you know, a lot of his later stuff cops a lot of flack, and I don't really know why. I guess I'm sort of partial to Fulci films, but... No, this is this is really quite a good film, man. Hallucinogenic, sort of atmospheric, gory, all in one. And, yeah, I mean, I, I recommend this thing. Check it out if you haven't got it. All right, another Fulci film. And, again, I've spoke about this one before, uh, with good reason. It is an Italian crime film, but it's extremely bloody and gory. And, to me... It is the king of the Italian crime films. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff, but like Violent Rome, Violent Naples, all that sort of stuff. Uh, Rome, Arm to the Teeth, and uh, Live Like a Cop, Die Like a Man, all that sort of stuff are really good as well. But in terms of, you know, violence quota and such, like Contraband, it's absolutely fucking amazing. And oddly, Australia never got this in any format release whatsoever. All right, Unearthed Films put out Untold Story with um, Anthony Wong, and this is absolutely fucking insane, this film. Um, you know, I guess it's... Let me try and get this out. Um, you know, pretty much on par with uh, Ebola Syndrome, that sort of thing. It's 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 pretty out there. Um, if I remember, kids get killed, this and all that sort of stuff, so it's pretty full throttle stuff, and massively recommended, and yeah, um, Unearthed Films always does really good work, uh, and again, picture quality and sound quality is fantastic. Now, here's an oddity as well, now this actually was released in Australia on VHS, but it was under some really weird title, um, and it almost appeared like a trauma film that it wasn't, and it was like Bimbo cheerleaders in hell or something like that you know i may have the title wrong but it was something like that and this was fantastic it's like a rape revenger type thing and these women are from memory like softball players you know and they travel around they go to some hick town and some of the girls get raped and whatnot and then it becomes this you know sort of cat and mouse um, rape revenge type film but yeah i was astonished it's it's very very violent um very in your face um, very pessimistic like I was I was loving it um, as I said it, it's pretty bleak and whatnot but it's 
yeah man it's it's fucking massively recommended so you see blood games kicking around do grab hold of it i think you guys will love it i mean i as i said i loved every second of that thing uh this this was a really good purchase here um it's a three pack of um, bronx warriors bronx warriors 2 and new barbarians which is often touted as um, bronx warriors part three i don't know if i agree with that but that's the way it's sort of grouped up by most of the people out there but um this is the blue undies triple pack and uh yeah again picture and sound quality on that is fucking really nice all right bruno Mattei's robo war now again this was another film that everyone was fucking like begging and begging companies to put this out and like I can't praise this enough. Like the picture quality is fucking amazing. I don't know to this day how they managed to polish this film so much, given the the plagiarism of the film alone, and you know the obscurity of the film. It basically rips off Predator and RoboCop in one film. And you know prior to this, the best way to see it, you know in my view anyway, people would argue and say the Japan tape was the best, but it wasn't, man. It was a dark print. Uh, the Greek VHS there. Now, that was full screen, but at least it was a nice, bright, lovely picture, whereas, as I said, the Japanese tape was really, really dark. Um, and just an absolute revelation. I, I cannot recommend this Blu-ray enough. And as I keep saying, Severin do astonishing work. And the amount of extras on this disc alone are well worth the purchase. Like In terms of every single disc release I have bought in my life, um, you know, in terms of like extras, this this uh, trumps up the best. It's that good. All right, now the Warrior. Um, now I have spoke about this on a prior video. This is fantastic. I again, I can only describe this as like a gory version of Conan the Barbarian. It's that sort of film. There's guys flying around on rocks and heads flying around, severed heads flying about, eyeballs poked out, um, kung fu fights. It's it's just fucking amazing. It's an Indonesian gore film with Barry Primer. Mondo Macabro put out this DVD and it's absolutely fantastic. Now another Mondo Macabro DVD was Lady Terminator and this is amazing and you know as per title it is a female ripoff of the Terminator and again it's another Indonesian film by Mondo Macabro and uh, yeah again picture quality on this is fantastic for a DVD. Uh, absolutely astonishing. It basically rips off whole scenes and dialogue pretty much from Terminator the same way Robo War does in terms of Predator. And again, I cannot recommend Lady Terminator highly enough. It is absolutely fucking amazing. It's one of those things you've got to see to believe it. All right, Aussie classic film, Stone. Um, the biker film, I'm sure you guys all probably own this and, and know the film off by heart. Now, Umbrella did have a, a Blu-ray, uh, sorry, a DVD out of this, and then they put out this uh, Blu-ray a year or two ago. And yeah, they've cleaned it up really nice. And again, there's a lot of nice uh, extras on that. And um, yeah, absolutely fantastic, not to be missed. And this is by far the best version I've seen yet. All right, Devil's Nightmare with Erica Blank. Now, there is Blu-rays of this out now. From memory, Mondo Macabro put out a Blu-ray, but I didn't get my hands on it. Um, yeah, fantastic. Really gothic, really atmospheric. Um, there is quite a few bloody scenes in it as well. So I recently re-watched that at the end of last year, and I'd actually forgotten how fantastic it was. So, yeah, as I said, another one I massively recommend, guys. Get your hands on it. All right, Tenement. Now, how to describe this? It's um, yeah, it's it's uh, I wouldn't say rape revenger, but it's um, it's it's another one that kind of defies belief in in terms of the violence on show here, and um, the Australian VHS on Game of Survival uh, title there was cut really really bad, um, absolutely. Amazing how much was cut out. There's a scene where a woman gets raped with a broomstick and um, Yeah, the whole sequence was cut out and even fist fights and all sorts of shit. There was little snippets cut everywhere um, Yeah, absolutely amazing now again, I'm pretty sure this was re-released on blu-ray. I've only got the DVD This is the old shriek show release, but yeah again fantastic viewing 
Um, I'm sure you guys will dig it if you haven't got it. Now, junk is another one that never gets talked about. Now, this is another Japanese uh, zombie film, and it's uh, kind of two films in one. Again, I think I have brought up this film before on my Asian recommendations video. And it's kind of like a bank, bank heist film at the start, and then it turns into, you know, like a full throttle zombie film, and it's absolutely fucking amazing. I, I really don't know why junk doesn't get talked about and mentioned more often, because seriously, it is fucking amazing, man. Like, I think you guys watching this will absolutely love this thing. Um, again, massively recommended. All right, we're going to finish it off with um, a Grizzly with Christopher George. Um, from memory, it's an old Canadian film. I could be wrong. And it's from 1976. And, you know, this was a film I had on VHS sitting in my collection for a good probably 12 years. And I thought, nah, that'd be boring. How exciting could a film be about a killer grizzly running around? But it's not, man. It's absolutely amazing. Like, the grizzly in this thing is completely and utterly gigantic. And, um, yeah, man, it's it attacks a helicopter in one scene. It is absolutely hilarious. And the way they kill the thing in the end... Like, I, I fell off my chair in hysterics the way they actually do away with it. And I'm not going to give it away because a lot of you guys probably haven't seen this film. But, as I said, again, like, this is a must-have film. Absolutely entertainment plus beer and pizza extravagance. So, all right, that's it, folks. Um, I'll see what I can dig out next time. I may do another recommendation video or something like that because folks seem to like that sort of thing and... Uh, hopefully there is, you know, at least one or two titles here that you guys haven't seen and you can venture out and purchase them. But don't blame me for sending you guys broke, which I do get told a lot. So, all right, going to wrap it up. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching and thanks for subscribing, liking and all that sort of stuff. So send the word out on Revids and let's get more people on board. All right, see you, folks.